Right, this is part two of our review, and um, here we've got the O2 juggler still. If we go into settings and go down, we've got some options on the screensaver. This is a normal screensaver that you get. It's sort of a clock thing that shows up like that. A little pretty O2 um, designed clock. You get a normal clock like that, which looks like that. Or you get a photo slideshow, which shows your photos as a normal digital picture frame would. Or you can have no screensaver at all. None of those options, unfortunately, display your calendar appointments. Now here on the left, I am going to show you the online calendar. I'm just going to log in, uh, which I'll do on the left here. And here is my calendar on the internet. And I'm just putting an appointment in as you may be able to see, to get some deck chairs out for a picnic. And the time to start is 11.36. Now, I don't know why I put 11.36 in, but that's just uh, wing it. So now I've put, um, this is my uh, appointments for today, uh, 11.30, sit in the garden and drink some beer, 11.36, get all the deck chairs out. This is why, because the sun's out and it's a very nice day today, so... We're going to sit in the garden. Now, I've made an appointment there. I can click on it. As you can see, I've got this nice um, sort of graphical effect there. I'm going to add in another appointment. Uh, let's say, um, eat some burgers. Get milk. Something like that. Let's get some milk. We can choose a start time. So I'm going to say uh, at... 11 a.m. Do that. I'm not going to send any reminders. So you can set reminders here, add members, so you can have your family members here and have them uh, texted when this event occurs. So uh, if they're O2 customers, and you can have them texted an hour, a day, or a week before. Three options only. Um, but there's no end time, if you notice here. I can set those special day themes which you've just seen, or you may have just seen on the previous screen, but there's no end time. So I've got a start date and a start time, but there's no end time. So you can't tell, really, if events are going to start clashing into each other. So here, uh, you can see it's highlighted my next event. And on the O2 Juggler, if I go into the calendar function, it's uh, doing a nice little swishy thing. And it's instantly synchronized my details here. So we've got that special day theme. We've got the stars there in the background. And if I zoom in, you may just be able to see my appointments. If I go on to that day, I've got to sit in the garden, drink some beer, get the deck chairs. But I, ha I actually have to physically press calendar and then go into today, then go into the day to see what I've got happening for that day. It will not tell you, say my next event here, it's 10.36 in the morning, the next event is... 11 a.m. get some burgers but on the home screen here there is nothing to tell me that um, I need to do anything for today and even if I go into the home screen uh, into the screensaver which normally shows up when you don't do anything for a while so this sits and, and shows up there is nothing there's no calendar appointments listed on there you know even if you had a little tiny block which interacted with the calendar and said get some milk here that would make this device instantly 100% more usable than it currently is because the calendar function is an online O2 calendar which you have to subscribe to, uh, sign in. It's completely free, but you know, um, it doesn't synchronize with your Outlook. Uh, it doesn't tell you, apart from a text message, what you've got coming up. You have to actually go into the picture, uh, into the joggler, go into O2 calendar, wait for it to load look at the day, obviously it's highlighted today and you can get a brief idea of what you've got coming up but it does only say you know, a preview you click on day and then it tells you exactly what you're coming up so you've literally every single morning you're going to make a mental note to come and press the O2 Joggler and um, find out what you're doing for today so it's the, the calendar function on this really does let it down and unfortunately that is the 
major selling point of this device and I really don't understand why it's not included on the um, screensaver and why it doesn't synchronize with your Outlook and why it, why it just doesn't function as it should really. Now I'm going to put in um, the next thing I wanted to show you I've got my, uh, my USB stick here I'm just going to pop that in the side again and we're going to go into music. Now I've got some music on my USB stick which is just blinding you now with the red light and I'm going to show you how, it, how easy it is to copy so I've gone into music and we've got this uh, uh, control panel here I press USB at the top and it will search your USB stick for music files so in this case it's found in MP3 I'll put it, I can either play it by pressing it now you've got uh, I'm going to mention this in the review, but you've got a pause button down here, play, stop, rewind, and a forward button. But there is no sort of way of, if I press forward, it's not really skipping through the song at all, and there's no, uh, there's no timeline telling you how far through the song it is, and you can't drag and drop to your favourite um, part of the song. I mean I can copy, I can click on uh, the little tick there, put a little tick in the box and then choose add and it'll say um, press next to add this music to your O2 Joggler so I'm just going to press next now it's going to copy from the USB to the internal memory so I can take this out now and hopefully it'll go back to there you go, to the normal screen and now I've got the MP3 on the internal, internal memory Turn the volume up and down there. So I don't need the USB stick in. There's only one gig of internal memory, so um, I've got a four gig uh, SD card here, which is just plugged into a card reader. Um, you know, the one gig in there is not going to get me a huge amount of pictures and music on board, unfortunately. So, but I can play music here, as you can, you can probably hear it. The music. Um, comes out fairly loud. I mean, if I turn it up, it's listenable, but it's not. It's by no means um, a really pumping sound system. Um, it's it's bearable. Uh, the games are appalling. The Sudoku, and that is it. There's no way of downloading more games. There is just one game. Um, the videos here. If I go into videos, let's put my USB stick back in the side there it shows a range of um, video formats if I click on USB when it detects that it's in there we go the USB light is lit up now press USB I can um, see all the AVIs and um, stuff on my um, USB pen if I click on one it'll stop the music automatically which is great but there doesn't seem to be there you go that it shows it in full screen which is nice and to be honest, the video quality is pretty good. The screen is, is brilliant. Um, so that's good. But again, I can't really skip through the um, video at all. It, you, you know, you have to start at the beginning and there is no skip function. Um, so that's a fairly basic video viewer, although the formats that it supports are many and varied. We've got photos, which um, I've showed you earlier, and you can press USB and look at the photos on your uh, USB memory stick and I can click on one, choose add and then press next to copy it to my O2 joggler so again we've got the um, pictures now local so here's my local pictures and I've got the uh, picture that I've just taken off there so I can take that out um, let's take that out then. and then we've got news which is from Sky News um, fairly basic sort of news system here we've got uh, it looks like it pulls news from an RSS feed from Sky News you click on um, the news item that you want to read and it shows it in a little preview screen with a little image and uh, there we've got some text I don't know why this doesn't use the whole screen it only uses a small proportion of the screen perhaps about half or maybe less of the screen uh, which is pretty pointless really I don't understand why I've got to sit here scrolling down 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 and then next and 
down, 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 down. If it was a full screen preview, it would be a lot easier to use. So there's the news. We've got Sky Sports news, which is um, I showed you earlier. But again, you've got to scroll down and it only uses half the screen. Yes, yeah, so here's a weather uh, option, and we've got some lovely sunshines to show you what's happening for the next few days. Very gorgeous weather at the moment. We can go into location and choose a city but there aren't a great deal of cities to choose from. Only the very major cities are, are shown on that list. Uh, we've got this traffic function which I showed you on the last video but again it only tells you the motorway that you're looking at every now and then. See so there it says M45 but if I scroll the way down here it doesn't really tell you what motorway this is here. It just tells you the junction numbers and there's the A roads but again it doesn't tell you what A road it is when you zoom in full so I don't really know what A road that is there and it, that's on full zoom and it only shows me the major arteries around the UK um, and then the help function settings which um, you can set it up to do um, uh, tools we can set it up to do connect and play but you need Windows Media to use that on your PC so that's it.